and welcome back to my channel. If you guys don't already know me, my name is Emmeline Jade. You can check out my Instagram, which is listed here somewhere at Emmeline Jade. Yes, it is my name. So today I am going to talk to you guys about how to survive long haul flights. And long haul flights is considered to be more than I think eight hours. A medium haul flight is around six to eight, I believe. I recently went to the Philippines where I flew from Vancouver all the way to Manila and that flight was about 14 hours going that way and I think it was about 13 hours going back. But during my flight, I learned a few things, very few important things that I thought I would share with you guys because it is just so important and I don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I did. So um, yeah, let's begin. So tip number one is to get good seating. Try to upgrade if you can. Um, it, I know it can be a little expensive, but trust me, Sitting up there, first class or business class or whatever it is, just up at the front is just so much better. There's a lot more space, you get more leg room, and you also get more um, of a recline when you put your seat back. However, if you cannot upgrade, if you are broke like me and cannot upgrade your seat, I know some flights allow early check-in within 24 hours before the actual check-in um, time. So go online and see if you can actually choose your seat. I do recommend choosing a seat that is closer to the front or um, what's really good is actually sitting in the emergency area. Um, there's just so much more legroom in the emergency area um, seating that it's just so much more comfortable, especially if you have backpacks or bags to put underneath the seat in front of you. Having sitting in the emergency seating area just gives you that much more legroom and you have more space to play around when you have stuff to put under the seat. Now, I do warn you that sitting in the emergency seating area, there's a little bit more um, responsibility. So flight attendants are going to have more of a one-on-one -on -one talk with you just to talk about the emergency procedures, just in case something happens. So if you can't get any good seating and are stuck in just the really, really far back economy class, which happened to me actually, although sitting in the window seat is so much fun and you get to see the pretty view i actually do not recommend it because it is so difficult to go to the bathroom especially if the person beside you who's in the aisle seat is sleeping you don't want to bother them if you need to go to the bathroom and i felt so bad because my bladder is super small and i literally had to go to the bathroom like 10 times during that flight and i felt so so bad <sighs> So number two, follow the time zone of your destination. So the Philippines was about 15 hours ahead from Vancouver time. And so when I left, it was actually a red eye flight. And from what I remember, it was kind of, I think it was like evening or late afternoon in the Philippines. So what I had to do was kind of stay up for a little bit more and then go to sleep. It's a little bit difficult because especially if you're on a long haul flight, um, there's a lot of meals and hot meals. But if you can, try to sleep and follow the schedule of your destination. That way, when you get there, you're ready to go and that way you kind of prevent the whole jet lag situation from happening and your sleeping pattern won't really get screwed up because you changed it during the flight. Number three, prep all your entertainment. If you have to stay up during the whole flight, make sure all your devices are charged. I know some um, airplanes, especially the long haul airlines, they actually have charging stations in the seat in front of you. So um, that could be a possibility. You can use your USB cord and charge your phones or whatnot. Um, but yeah, so if you have a laptop, a cell phone, iPad, whatever it is, make sure it's charged. That way um, you'll have all your entertainment ready and set up. And make sure you've got movies downloaded, um, any TV shows you want to watch download. Make sure you have a Kindle. That way you, if you want to read instead, you got that ready. I do recommend having a Kindle rather than carrying books because if you finish reading a book, 
you've got nowhere else to put it and you're lugging around like a block with you okay it's not really a block literally but it's just extra it's just extra weight that you don't need in your carry-on or your backpack and so number four wear comfortable clothing please the last thing you want to wear are jeans on the plane that is like the most uncomfortable thing ever well in my opinion I just don't I wear skinny jeans so it's like really uncomfortable and they're high waisted too so it's like my like fat little belly is just not comfortable while sitting on the plane for freaking like 15 hours so wear comfortable clothing try to wear leggings or joggers if you can and it does get super cold on the plane so wear a hoodie anything long sleeve something cotton if you do have to look presentable once you land just bring a change of clothes in your carry-on and then once you land just go to the bathroom and do a quick change that way you can just freshen up change and that's it and what I also like to bring is warm fuzzy socks because it gets super cold on the plane so I wear um, my socks to keep my feet warm usually airlines provide a blanket because it does get super cold on the plane but if you're like me and don't really like using those blankets try to get a blanket scarf or even a thin a small thin blanket that you have um, from home and you can use it as your blanket last but not least tip number five is to please 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 stay healthy it is super important to stay healthy don't drink alcohol before you fly I know like a lot of people are nervous flyers and alcohol does help but it does dehydrate you and it does not help with the sleep it actually just makes your sleep worse especially with um, you being in the plane and the turbulence and all that stuff is just not a happy situation and try to avoid diuretics like coffee or tea with caffeine or even hot chocolate that doesn't really help um, especially if you've got bad cases of jet lag like myself try to stay away from that and just drink a ton of water like a lot a lot a lot and just keeps you healthy and keeps you hydrated throughout the flight and try not to eat any kind of junk food the food that the airlines provide you um, is usually pretty good and has some good carbs and all that stuff if you have really a bad case of jet lag there are pills for it which I didn't take and I kind of wish I did so that's definitely something I'll take um, the next time I go on a long-haul flight um, and also if you do need some kind of liquid to help you fall asleep chamomile 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 tea I don't know how to pronounce it but um, those kinds of teas are really calming and actually help um, you fall asleep better and yeah it's just it's definitely better than alcohol like trust me I tried it and it did not help and then I tried coffee and that just made it worse so that is it I hope that was helpful let me know um, if you find there are other important things that I've missed that is something good to know about surviving long-haul flights so yeah that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I will see you in a later video bye Mwah.